When we were doing the work on climate change, we realised pretty quickly that you couldn't do much about reducing the impact of what we do as farmers on climate change unless we could measure uh, the gases, or the, uh, whether it was carbon or whether it was methane or whether it was nitrous oxide. We can, so you can measure those. You don't know what to do about it. So uh, we joined up with Savills and the Crown Estates and uh, the East of England Development Agency uh, to develop uh, an online internet-based free carbon calculator. All you have to do is you open it up and you, uh, it asks you questions. It says how many cows you've got and how many sheep you've got and the acreage of wheat, oats and barley, how many trees you've got, etc. And you fill all that in and it does a calculation and it tells you how many tons of carbon equivalent gases you're releasing and how many tons you're locking up or sequestering. I knew I was going to be a, a bad boy because uh, we have all these cows uh, and I emit on this farm which is about 450 hectares 2,130 tonnes of uh, carbon but I lock up about 900 tonnes so I'm a net emitter of carbon, well of greenhouse gases but of course most of what I emit is not carbon it's methane and nitrous oxide. Cows are the biggest emitters really, I suppose, or, or animal, uh, beef cattle and cows generally, of uh, methane. 95% uh, of it comes from the front end of the cow and about 5% from the back end. And what we've got to try and do is find ways of reducing the methane that is emitted from these animals uh, through better feeding, through better breeding and through um, you know, better management. Well, once you've uh, discovered from the carbon calculator uh, where your areas of uh, high emissions are, uh, it gives you some advice as to what you can do to reduce those emissions. And you can think about those and go away and uh, try things. I would like to lock up more carbon, and there's not many ways I can do that. I can do it through growing more grass, but, but a really good way of locking up carbon is to grow more trees. And that I can do and anybody can do. The first thing we did was to do something about water because that was something that was, in our case, quite easy to do. And this is a huge barn and all the water off the roof runs into the gutter up here down this downpipe. Uh, and there are downpipes under the building that all come together under here. And then they run along to this huge underground tank, about uh, three quarters full. So we, uh, we won another thunderstorm within a week or two. Mains water is not really very carbon friendly because it all has to be processed and it has to be pumped and chlorinated and filtered and all that uses a lot of carbon. So the only way to get extra water on farm is to drill a borehole which we did this summer. That will save us using mains water and of course save us money because water gets more and more expensive um, so in time it will pay back its investment. And we built this lake here for water uh, during the summer of droughts, which droughts we're going to have in future. So that was the first thing we did. Uh, we've done some arable reversion. Now what that is, is putting arable land, uh, land for crops, back into grass. Because ploughing up land releases carbon, but growing grass uh, stores carbon. And those are the things we've done so far, but there's more that we can do. And some of the things we're looking at is... Uh, 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 doing something about the slurry, maybe uh, aerobic digestion, uh, a, a district system in the village where we can uh, use muck and village waste uh, in an aerobic digester. That's a big investment, but we're certainly going to look at that. I think partially by doing things we can do now, as I've suggested, and looking at the long term, over a period of 15 to 20 years, we can make a real difference. And we can make a difference without reducing the output, i.e. the amount of milk, or the amount of meat we produce. And that's the key. Uh, keep the production up, but the emissions down, um, and then we're fine. If we start to cut cattle numbers and sheep numbers, all that will happen is in other countries they'll produce more to fill in the gap, and that defeats the object. So the first thing to do is to go to the CALM calculator, look on it as a, as a computer game. It doesn't take long. It's quite fun. Get the information. And Farming Futures also produce lots of fact sheets, and the website will tell you where to, to get those. And they will give you ideas as to how you can, how you can make a difference.